Welcome. I'm Jeff Settleman, Senior Director of Discovery Oncology, and this is Gene Expressions. A biomarker is anything that can be measured as an indicator of a biological process. A biological process can be something that is normally happening in the body or during the development of a disease or in the response to a particular medicine in a patient undergoing treatment. There are many different types of biomarkers, which include things that are simple to measure, such as high blood pressure as an indicator for increased risk of stroke, to more complex genetic changes or mutations in the genes of tumor cells that can help to identify a patient's particular type of cancer. In oncology, biomarkers are used to provide information about a person's risk of developing cancer and to determine their prognosis once a cancer is diagnosed, and in some cases, to predict how patients may respond to particular medications. For example, mutations in the so-called BRCA genes are known to increase a woman's risk of developing hereditary breast or ovarian cancer. In relation to the treatment of cancer, biomarkers fall into two main classes, prognostic and predictive. Prognostic biomarkers can provide us with information about how the disease is likely to progress, regardless of the treatment a patient receives, including how long a patient is expected to live. These biomarkers can help to determine how aggressively the patient needs to be treated. For example, in chronic lymphocytic leukemia, the most common adult leukemia, about half of patients have a particular mutation affecting the so-called immunoglobulin genes. Patients with these mutations tend to live longer than those patients lacking the mutation. Predictive biomarkers, on the other hand, help to determine which patients are more appropriate candidates to receive a certain medicine, thereby enabling physicians to choose one treatment over another. Sometimes biomarkers can be both prognostic and predictive, thereby providing information about how aggressive a patient's disease is, as well as the type of medicine they should receive. Scientists at Genentech are always exploring new approaches to understand the basic biology of cancer and to identify biomarkers that reveal cellular pathways that are critical for the growth of particular cancers. Finding new biomarkers can be of great value in our efforts to determine which pathways are important to target with new investigational agents. For example, our work on a cellular signaling pathway known as the hedgehog pathway has revealed that this pathway is activated in basal cell carcinoma, a type of skin cancer. At Genentech, all new agents in our oncology pipeline include a corresponding biomarker program that may help us determine which patients are the best candidates for our clinical trials. Although most cancers have common characteristics, there is no one-size-fits-all solution to biomarker discovery. Each drug and disease is different and unique. In order to determine which patients should or should not receive a certain treatment, biomarkers must be rigorously tested and validated in clinical studies. In a typically sized clinical trial, it is easier to see statistically significant differences in how a drug works in patients who do respond well compared to those who do not respond at all. However, for medicines that work well across different patient subtypes, a much larger number of patients is required to reveal a statistically significant finding, if one even exists. Biomarker research also needs to be interpreted carefully so people are not excluded from receiving potentially helpful medicines. For example, as mentioned earlier, women who have a mutation in one of the BRCA genes have an increased risk of developing hereditary breast or ovarian cancer. However, not all women with this mutation will develop breast or ovarian cancer, and women without these mutations can also develop these diseases. Currently, there are no standard criteria established to identify those who should be tested for BRCA mutations, and additional studies are underway to determine how to better use this biomarker to assess the risk for developing these cancers. As always, it is important to exercise caution when interpreting research as it applies to cancer treatment. Despite the various challenges associated with discovering biomarkers and testing their utility in clinical studies, here at Genentech we continue to invest heavily in biomarker research, both to better understand cancer biology and to determine which patients are more appropriate candidates to receive our medicines. Biomarkers are currently a critical component of cancer research. 
but they are most important if they help us to improve the care patients receive. We believe in the potential for biomarkers to help us develop new medicines for cancer patients, and our goal is to match those patients with the best possible treatment for their specific cancer. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jeff Settleman. This has been Gene Expressions.